I cannot understand those people who listen to the stories of this extremely arrogant and cunning liar. Let his seed be destroyed. He walks around and tells some incomprehensible fairy tales, and those who listen still admire him. Small in heart and body, he says all around that everyone needs him, wants him, and even has to obey him. Let the mother earth open beneath him. Worst of all, he finished some schools in the city, so he himself, like all such people, in some crazy joy, full of immeasurably difficult thoughts, imagined, conceived, call it what you want, to have at his disposal this strange knowledge, for I don't know what, most likely, for even with actions, not to mention the worst come. He reckons that he can then, as he is, an ordinary or even a great deceiver, freely deceive people like the worst thief. And not just a thief but a non-human. He, the poor man, who he is and what he is, has ever existed anywhere in this world. Well, that's what I think of him and that's why I won't even mention him again. Or at least for a while. Still, let his shadow of life split in half and let me never see or hear of him again. I curse him in my own name and in the name of all my ancestors. Let my father and grandfather forgive me if I did not listen to them when they told me not to curse anyone with a curse because the curse usually comes back. A few sighs and a frightened voice can be heard from the crowd. 